Well, it's been a long time since we've been together. And Abide in the Vine radio ministry, media ministry, left the air a number of years ago so that I could concentrate more on just simply reaching the lost instead of ministering to all those that I love around the world. But right now, the way things have gone and with the lockdown, it's time for me to turn and go back to speaking the truth from the Word of God and letting you understand the value of the living Word. Jesus is the living Word. He was in the beginning. He's always been. And the abiding relationship that you and I need to have with Him are what is vital at this point in time and at any point in time in life. He never changes. His Word never changes. And that's the one thing that troubles me right now as I look at people around the world and I look at the Christian body. And I look and I see that numerous people, many people in all nations, are running scared of a, of a virus. Instead of standing on the Word of God, instead of like David running toward Goliath, instead of, instead of taking a stand and calling out, they don't. And what does God say? If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I He wants to heal the land, wherever it is that you live. He wants to heal the land where I'm living. He wants, literally, to raise all this away. But the body of Christ is not bowing down to him. The body of Christ is not trusting in him. The body of Christ is not abiding in Jesus Christ. And it bothers me greatly to hear people push and push and push in fear instead of standing up and praising him. There's a few places around the world where people are taking a stand, and I praise God for them. I thank God for those Christians who are standing and standing against the wiles of the devil, standing against the, the disease, standing against the sickness. And this is only one of many. If we were to start counting the multiple people that die every single year from cancer, from, from all different kinds of diseases, from even flu itself, but from, from other things, besides the, the virus that we are now facing. That, that virus is small in comparison to the multiples that die. An abortion, one child every second goes into the grave. One child every second dies because they're aborted. Now that's, that's ridiculous. So we've got to take and put things in perspective. And if we don't stand up for the truth of the word, who's going to? If the body of Christ doesn't believe the Word of God, then what's the point of the Word of God? If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask, ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Therein is my Father glorified, said Jesus. He said that the things that he did, if we believed and trusted fully in him, the things he did when he was here upon the earth, we would do. And even greater things would we do because he goes to the Father, or went to the Father now. So, what is it? Are we going to believe the Word of God and stand upon the Word of God? Are we going to proclaim the Word of God? Or are we going to be locked down in our houses, and we will, on Easter? Easter is this week. We're in Easter week now. Yesterday was Palm Sunday. Today is Monday of that final week when everything happened to the Lord, to our Savior, to our Redeemer, to our Creator, Jesus Christ. Beginning Thursday, I'm going to be preaching Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right here on Abide in the Vine. And I'm not going to be just spending 15 minutes like I'm spending right now telling you what's going to happen. I want you to be part of what God wants to do. He wants us to stand up. He wants us to rise up. Easter is the most wonderful time of the year, and I would have loved to have been doing a crusade right now somewhere in the world, but I'm not. Instead, I'm in front of a camera trying to talk 
to all of those who will join me for those broadcasts. I don't know exactly what time they'll be on, but they will be, they will be recorded so that you can see them at any time during those days. But we will be in front of the camera speaking the truth of Jesus Christ and what Easter really means. So invite your friends, invite your enemies, invite all of those who know and all of those who don't know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. And let's stand together for the wonders of God and live and walk on the miracle road. This is Chuck Lampkin, your host for Abide in the Vine, and please, please subscribe, tune in, because I'm going to stay on the air from now on. Once I get on, beginning on Thursday, I will not back off. That will be in my own personal channel, Charles Lampkin, but it will be Abide in the Vine. Not business channel, nothing else, but Abide in the Vine. God's Word meant for you, meant for me, meant for all the world, that we would come to Him, that we would understand the truth of His Word, we would abide in Him, we would have that intimate relationship with Him, for that is what He desires from you, and that's what He desires from me. Until Thursday, may God watch over you, may He keep you safe, may He keep you in the palm of His hands. He gave it all for you. Can you give a little time to see your friends stand? Can you give a little time to see them come to know the living Savior? Can you spend a little time on your knees this week before him and believe with me for a mighty miracle to turn all of us around and clamp it down? God hears us when we pray. And he says, if my people, that's you and I, turn from their wicked ways, then he would hear from heaven, and he would heal our land. God bless you, and may you be in the center of his will.